my channel so today um i did this cool toned kind of mauvey smoky eye with like a berry toned pinky mauvey lip i don't really know what to call this yet because when i sat down i wasn't really sure what direction i was gonna go in but i just knew i wanted to create something with cool tones um just because i normally stick to warm tones you know browns and these mustardy colors and reds and that kind of thing but I feel like this plum smoky eye is very universal and it could work on so many different skin tones so many different eye colors so as versatile as it is I figured it was worth showing you guys and hopefully you can recreate this if I I, I mean it's really simple it's just a few colors blended into each other it's nothing difficult at all so I hope you like it and if you have any other suggestions for me to do just please leave a comment and let me know um also please make sure you subscribe and hit the like button but thank you so much for watching and i hope you like the video bye guys okay so here's the deal i really have no idea what i'm gonna do but i know that i want to try to do something cool toned first thing i'm gonna need to do is prime my eyes and I'm gonna use my soft ochre paint pot. I already primed this eyes. Oh, and I also have my um, I have my brows done already as well, um, just to save time. And I have like a full brow eyebrow routine tutorial on my channel as well. If you want to check that out, I'll put a link in the description bar below. So I'm gonna need to do like a base color on my eye. Um, kind of like a transition color so whatever you blend on top of it blends much much better so I'm gonna take this kind of flesh tone pinky mauvey color from the Carly Bible palette on a fluffy brush and I'm just gonna fluff this around everywhere in the crease not precise at all because this is just the transition color you should see my setup like right now it's it's ridiculous just so i can i don't have like a proper filming setup yet so everything is just so makeshift so right now i have like oh my god it's embarrassing i wouldn't even i wouldn't even tell you fake it till you make it and then I'm gonna take this other uh, mauve color from the same palette on the same brush and just try to put that, I concentrate that maybe a little lower than that one. I'm gonna take a, like a more tapered kind of brush just to place color a little more precisely and then I'm going to take the deepest uh, plum shade from that palette just that one right there and then I'm just gonna oh my god excuse my hair I'm just gonna pat this all over the lid So I'm gonna take this color called Witchy from the Anastasia Beverly Hills palette. I don't really know how this is gonna go, but I'm just gonna try. I'm just gonna take it on my finger and tap it in close to my uh, close to my lash line. We'll blend it afterwards. I like to use my finger most of the time, especially if I don't have to be too precise and then I'm gonna blend afterwards. F application with your fingers is just so much, so much easier and you get a really good color payoff. Blend. Okay, 
So hopefully you can see that that's kind of like a gradient from darkest closest to the lash line go all the way up to brow bone and it just gets lighter and fades so i'm just gonna go back in with that first fluffy brush and just blend everything so there are no harsh lines anywhere so i'm gonna take this random random flat eyeshadow brush and i'm gonna take the i mean any pale flesh tone Right on the brow bone there. Now we can do some eyeliner. So I'm gonna use my Maybelline gel eyeliner in black is black. I'm gonna define my okay realistically I can't really talk during doing eyeliner. I don't even breathe properly, so give me a second. The next thing I want to do is give my eyelashes a little curl and I'm going to use a little bit of mascara just to prep them for false lashes. And for lashes I'm going to use uh, Ardell's Wispy Wispies lashes. Um, these are so easy to put on. If you want to start experimenting with the applying lashes get you a pair of these and try them they pop right on they don't give you a hassle the band is flexible so it's just so easy to apply everyone. okay so i'm back and i just popped the lashes on and um now i'm just gonna continue with the rest of the eye makeup so the only other thing i want to do is put some black eyeliner on the inner on the bottom waterline so i'm gonna use my LA Girl Glide Gel Liner Crayon thing in very black. Um, it's a really great, it's a really great pencil. It does not move, and it's inexpensive, and it's super black. Okay, there we go. Okay, so now we can work on the face. First thing I want to do is prime, pick a primer. I'm going to use my Tarte Clean Slate Poreless, such as a little sample version. And I'm going to press that into the areas with my large pores and texture. The foundation I'm going to use is my NARS all day luminous weightless foundation in the shade tahoe which is currently like my go-to foundation beauty blender as usual and blend that in to use my LA Girl Pro Conceal in the color Pure Beige and then apply that under my eyes. And then I'm going to blend that out with my Beauty Blender. Okay, so now that that's blended in, my Ben Nye Banana Powder. Let's get that on the sponge. And set that down. 
pretty heavily under the eye. And I can set my face, the rest of my face that is. So I'm going to use my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in medium tan, which looks like this. And I'm going to use powder brush and just brush it on. I'm going to take my Mineralized Skin Finish in dark now, um, which looks like this, and I'm going to contour with that a little bit. Not so much contour, but just bronze. Basically, give my face back some shadows, some dimension, by adding shadow. Then I'm gonna take my Real Techniques setting brush and just brush away all that excess powder. Just use me. So for blush, I'm going to use my um, Jaclyn Hill and Becca Face Palette Champagne Glow Palette. This is what the inside looks like. I'm going to use the color called Amaretto, which is that center one right there. So now I'm going to do highlighter. I'm going to use the highlighters from the, uh, the Curly Bible palette, which is what I said I wanted to do from the inception. So I'm probably going to mix these two together. Um, one is more like a pinky tone and one is more like champagne, champagne-y kind of color. So let me try them, let me try them separately first. Let me try the champagne one first. Right on the top of my cheekbones. I'll try a little bit of the pink tone one now. I like that pink tone one for my brow bone, so I'm just going to put a hint of that on the brow bone. Just for a hint of shimmer because everything else is matte. Okay, time to work on the uh, lower lash line underneath the bottom lashes. I think that's something that everybody forgets to do um, and it's a main step in doing a smoky eye. So I'm going to take just a small little smudger brush like this and take that, you know, come on, I'm going to take that uh, mauve color from the Carly Bible palette and just smudge that under my eyes. I'm also what I'm also gonna do is just take an even a small smaller angle brush like this and I'm gonna take that dark the darkest purple shade and I'm gonna just push that in extremely close to the to the lashes to give it like a gradient effect on the bottom as well it's kind of what we did on the top Put a coat of uh, mascara on your lower lashes.
Okay, so for lips, what I think I might do is end up mixing these two shades. Uh, one is There are two liquid lipsticks. One, one is by Hourglass called Empress, and then this one is by Kat Von D in the shade Mother. Okay, so I'm going to take the uh, pink, the more pink shade, and I'm going to put that in the center and just kind of blend it outwards a bit. You, I mean, I can't really explain it, but you can see. It's very advanced blending technique. <laughs> see, that just gives it a little more dimension. Um, it can also help your lips look a little fuller too and that's about it I hope you didn't think that was too much or too long or what but um, I'm happy with the way this turned out I kind of like the lip I don't do pink kind of pink tone lips often but like I said I wanted to try something different today and I am kind of liking the cool tones. So this is the finished look. This is my hair, which is cooperate.